Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a detailed review on this Cuisinart Grind and Brew. So it sells for $129, you can still get it, but this thing grinds your coffee so you get, you get whole beans. It'll grind it, put it in the filter basket, and brew your coffee all in one process. So this also has the thermal cafe, which means anytime they've got this insulated thermal cafe, the uh, warming plate doesn't work. So you, the way they keep the coffee warm is by using the thermal cafe. And this just quarter turns. And then the, it's only a 10 cup because these thermal cafes are uh, pretty big. They can only hold 10 cups. So you put it on like that and then just a quarter turn. So I'm not real a fan of the display. It's not backlit um, and it's a little hard to see. But we open the lid up here, right? We gotta press this button right here. And that opens the lid. That's gonna show you the grinder. So you lift this up. This is the cover for the grinder. There's where you put the whole beans. It's gonna grind it. It's gonna shoot it down that little chute. And we can even take this out. That's gonna go right into the top to the uh, filter basket. So we're gonna try all that out, see how it works. This is where you put the water. It does have a carbon filter. I don't, have, I don't have one in there right now, but it does have a carbon filter. So you're gonna put the water right here. It's gonna go in the back. When you close this lid, one of the major things is make sure it snaps. And then to open this, there's a little release lever right here. That's gonna let the uh, brew basket come out. So this is our brew basket. Now I am missing one part. There's a cover for this brew basket. I bought this used off of uh, Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks and um, it's missing the cover. So we're gonna see how it works without the cover. Now this takes a t uh, eight to 12 cup basket style filter. So just a basket style coffee filter, eight to 12 cups. Pretty standard uh, coffee filter. Or you, it does come with a reusable filter. Now these reusable filters, they work great, but you do get a little bit of sediment in your coffee. You know, I'm not sure if sediment's good or bad for you, but you do get just a little bit of sediment down at the bottom of your coffee cup towards the end. So then we're just gonna close this and you make sure it snaps. Um, again, you're going to be buying the whole bean coffee. Now, I'm going to show you, you can just use, so say you run out of whole bean, you can use pre-ground coffee in this also. It is programmable, and so what the really nice thing is, so you load it up with your coffee beans, you put your water in, you got your filter in, you can program this thing to come on at 5 in the morning or whenever, whatever time you want. It'll do the grind and do the brew all from that program. That's pretty nice. So it's gonna be, you're gonna hear the grinder going and then it's gonna brew your pot of coffee. It's got this kind of window up here to see what's going on. There is a little bit of cord storage, not much. Pretty standard cord, you know, two prong. So front to back, you're looking about 10 inches. Side to side, you're looking about eight inches. So the thing is kind of a tall, so it's 15 inches just to the top, but with the lid open, you're looking at almost 22 inches. So this is not going to fit under a standard kitchen cabinet, which is about 19 inches. And you really do need, you're gonna to have to lift the lid all the way up. You do need access to here because you're gonna to have to be cleaning this. This is where you put the water. This is where you lift the water filter out. So they tried to be somewhat front access with this, which is nice. You can access the coffee filter from the front, but you're really going to have to um, be able to lift the lid up all the way so that you can do work here. So let's go over the controls real quick. It's got this big on off switch right here. This is how you start the brew process. But one thing I want to caution you is so every time you start the brew process, it's always going to start the grinder first and then do the brew. Now it does have this, uh, this grinder off, but let me show you. So I don't have anything in there right now, but so if I want to brew a pot of coffee, you're just going to hit this. 
So see how that grinder always starts first? If I don't want that grinder to start, I gotta hit this button first and that light lights up, it's a yellow light. It's not flashing, it's on steady. And now when I do it, it's gonna do just the brew where it's gonna heat the water and not do the grinder. So that's a pretty important thing um, if you don't want the grinder to come on first. It's got hour and minute to set time and the one to four cup. If you're gonna do a smaller quantity of water, you're gonna to wanna to do the one to four cup. And it's got this program button. I'm gonna show you how to set the time and set the program so you can, if you want it to come on at four o'clock in the morning. Okay, so let's get right to it. Let's put our filter. So that, again, this is our filter basket. It does, it is removable. It's got that plunger on the bottom so that you can pause, you can take a cup and get a cup of coffee if you want. And then to put it back, it kind of sits in there. But we're gonna use the reusable filter first. So I've got that in there. And then all we do is close it. If I wanted to do coffee grounds, I could do the coffee grounds right into here and then turn the grinder off and it would just be like a normal coffee maker. But the grinder is going to shoot the coffee grounds right into this. And it's got the standard ratio. So one tablespoon, one tablespoon per cup you're going to brew. This is a 10 cup coffee maker. So we've got that closed. We're going to lift this up. There are some safety features built in, so like the grinder won't work if that micro switch isn't depressed. And this thing here, if everything's in a line, it's going to push down that little plunger there. If you've got everything lined up. And if you don't have the, the lid snapped, it beeps at you, letting you know, hey, something's wrong. So once you've got the lid snapped, <coughs> then it works. So do, it, they do have some pretty important safety features so that you don't end up accidentally turning the, you know, that thing really could hurt you if you got turned on by accident. Now this is not a burr grinder. This is like a standard um, grinder. You know, the burr grinders, you can vary how much it's going to uh, fine, medium, or coarse. This one's only going to do one, and it's, it's probably going to be a medium grind, I would think. Let's take a look at this. And there's where the motor turns it. So this is what's going to come out. Now in some of the reviews, um, they talk about cleanup. So people, you know, they don't realize that. So you, you do get a really fresh cup of coffee. But at the expense of a little bit more cleanup. You're going to have to do some cleanup with this grinder, I think, every single time. But we're going to find out. There's the max fill line. It's got little arrows. So you're not going to want to fill it above basically this whole basket and again I can see the filter basket there everything kind of fits in there nice you know they did a good job designing it as far as it fits so again I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna try some Pete's coffee too but I've got it comes with a scoop but it's one tablespoon so one tablespoon per cup you're gonna brew and I'm gonna brew 10 cups it's got a nice little sight glass here so I'm going to brew 10. I'm going to put 10 tablespoons of coffee in the grinder. Okay, so I've got 10 tablespoons in there. I could have gone probably one more tablespoon before it was up to the maximum line. But I'm going to try 10 tablespoons. I've got my lid. I've got to make sure I get it on just right. Okay, now everything's on there. Now when I close this, that's going to depress that little micro switch. But before I close it, I'm going to put my water in. Okay, so I've got my water reservoir, or my um, coffee pot filled up, and I'm going to line up the arrows here. Now, these coffee pots or cafes don't pour the fastest. There's a little ball in there, so anytime the, the cafe is sitting like this, that little ball is seated. And that's, to, that's to help keep the coffee warm, and then when you tilt it over, the ball comes up. So it, they just don't pour the fastest. Okay, it does have a nice sight glass with a little red ball in there that tells you that I'm on the tin mark. So I'm going to make sure I put my coffee pot down here. I'm going to close the lid, make sure it snaps, and then all I got to do is hit the on button. So I can see it is doing, it is grinding the coffee. Now 
it's not super loud, but it is a little loud. So that was automatic. It stops on its own. And now it's going to start heating the water and um, brewing your cup of coffee. Okay, so it's brewing. I can hear the, the uh, coffee going into the coffee pot. It's got the standard, it's not super loud percolating the water. It's kind of a, a standard coffee maker sound. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. We're at the five, it, it's brewed about five cups already. So this is pretty standard. It's doing about uh, one cup every minute. So it does have pause brewing. So say I wanted to get a quick cup of coffee. I could take this out. You might get a drip or two, but that plunger comes down and stops the brew. And then I can put that back and then it continues brewing. You know, sitting here looking at this, you know, Cuisinart does make some of the best looking coffee makers. This coffee maker does look really good. So if you're like me and I was curious how, to, how a coffee maker works, I cut open this uh, Cuisinart coffee maker and I found that most coffee makers are, are built the same. So you've got the, the water goes back here. That's where your carbon filter would be. It goes down this hose. Then in the very bottom, this is the heating element. So it's gonna bring the water in. It's gonna heat it up and then ship it out this water and it's gonna go into your brew uh, and up there to brew your coffee. So I got another video where I cut six coffee makers apart, all different brands and manufacturers, and they all looked pretty much the same with this horse, this like horseshoe shape uh, heating element. And then I cut one open to kind of see what it looks like on the inside. And in my uh, video that I'm going to do about descaling, I kind of explain all this. So check out my video that I'm going to do on how to descale this coffee maker. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. It, it gets a little noisier towards the end. You get uh, quite a bit of steam coming up around. Now it does have five beeps, you know, so your dogs may not like that, but it's got five little beeps when the coffee maker is done. And as far as I know, there's no way to shut it off on this one. Cuisinart, some of Cuisinart's other coffee makers, you can shut that beep off. And again, when this is done brewing, you don't have a warming plate to worry about. Okay, so there's those beeps. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah, the red light went off. So this coffee maker essentially shut itself off. You don't have to worry about it. What it, it's going to use this double insulated um, coffee pot to keep the coffee warm. So that's a nice feature some people like is they don't have to worry about did the coffee maker shut off or whatever. But So now let's pour ourselves a cup of coffee. Let's see how it did. Now that coffee looked a little weak, but that's something to do with that 7 a.m. coffee. Um, I've tried that before, and the coffee just looks really weak. But, so it brews, you know, about, that's not too bad. 160, that's about, that's a standard uh, cup of coffee. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, that's not, that's not, that's a pretty good cup of coffee. Um, I brewed a Major Dickinson. That's a little better coffee bean. The 7 a.m. I've just not been a fan of. But that's a really good cup of coffee. Um, now let's see how it did in the brew basket. So let's poke it open. Again, be careful, this could be hot. Okay, so there's the brew basket. So it shoots the coffee in there. Huh, I would have liked to have seen more water over here. Well, we got areas where water didn't get. Huh. And areas over here where water. Now, I do like the grind. That's a that's about a that's a medium grind. That's a really good medium grind. So, I, but I would have liked to have seen a little bit more water over here on this side here for the brew. I'm not sure what happened there. Again, I am missing a cover that goes over this. I'm not sure if the person before me decided that cover was more of a hassle. But I really didn't, you know, it didn't really make that big of a mess. So let's search. Okay, so the water does kind of come out on this one side. It has to leave this big opening here for the coffee grounds to come out. 
So that might be part of the problem is the water only coming out on one side of the, and that would make sense when you've got the brew basket here, the water would come out more here than it would here. Where a normal coffee maker is the water comes out in the middle and it kind of saturates them all. So let's see how it did up here. Okay, so here, one of the complaints people had, now you're gonna have to clean this every time. You do get, see how you get a lot of, it just gets all wet up here. I was hoping that um, you know, maybe this area didn't get wet and you could just pour your coffee beans in there. You are not gonna wanna put coffee beans in there with, with that wet like that. Because when it grinds it, it's gonna, it's gonna start making a big mess. Um, it's gonna start sticking to it. And I doubt that's gonna dry for the next day. So that's the part people were talking about is so it's a little more work. You are going to have to clean, you know, you're going to have to clean this. But, you know, you have to clean uh, some of the coffee maker anyway for your next pot of coffee. So it's just you're going to take this out and this out, which are very simple to take out. So I don't see that being that big of a deal. Um, these both of these are dishwasher safe, you know, and then here's so cleanup is so it does have this little handle. Now I can take that over to the, uh, I can lift out the, the basket and take that out and take the coffee grounds out. But as far as maybe you have to wipe that a little bit, but as far as the coffee maker itself, it looks like it did a really good job. It shot the coffee grounds right into the basket. I don't see any coffee grounds up around, you know, anywhere. So as far as just cleaning up those two parts and that, you'll be good to go for the next one. So here we have cleanup. This is the reusable filter. Now, even though I recycled the coffee grounds, you do have to rinse this out. So you are going to get a few coffee grounds down your sink, which I don't think is the best for your sink. If you use a paper filter in here, you don't have to worry about cleanup. Uh, you won't get the coffee grounds into your sink. So here, like again, we can we can use a brush on this. We, we are definitely going to have to clean this between every use, but it's very simple to brew. It's just a couple extra pieces. Normally, I would just kind of like rinse these out if I used a paper filter and maybe rinse the coffee pot out, but these are all dishwasher safe. Um, this one's a little trickier to put in the dishwasher because it is kind of big, you know, and it doesn't want to fit. You know, you got your those things sticking up in your, so this one's a little trickier to put in the dishwasher. All of this is top rack dishwasher only. So cleanup was simple. I do recommend getting like a brush. This really helped out a bunch. But these things cleaned up really easy, really nice. I mean, Cuisinart did a good job designing this. You, you want to make sure and go this way, too. Okay, so I've got everything back together. I'm going to play around with it. For, I'm going to show you um, I'm going to show you the actual grind. So I've got, I'm going to use a paper filter this time. So we're going to put the number 8 to 10 uh, basket-style filter in. I'm going to put some coffee beans in. So I've got the coffee beans in. And let's put this on. I just want to look at the grind and see how the grind is. So I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so the grinder is only on for less than a minute, but then I shut it off. I don't want to brew a pot of coffee. I just want to see. So yeah, it does a pretty good job uh, grinding the coffee. That's a pretty, that's a, that's a medium grind. That's a really good grind for just a regular coffee maker. Now I did get a few coffee grounds around, but that might be because I'm, I'm, there is a lid that goes on here and it's got an opening just for the coffee grounds to go in and then another opening for the, but I just wanted to, just wanted to see the grind. Okay. So since I got coffee in there, so let's pretend that you didn't have any uh, whole bean coffee and all you had was, was just regular coffee maker ground coffee. So you would do just what I'm done done here. You put your filter in. You're going to put your coffee grounds right here. Okay, just pretend like, you know, you ground them. But you're going to put them right here. One tablespoon per cup you're going to brew. So if you're only going to do five cups, just put five or ten if you're going to do a ten cup. And then you would just close this. But here's the part you got to remember. So if I just turn this on, you know, it's going to start that grinder. Um, that's okay, but it's going to sit there and grind nothing. But if you turn the grinder off, 
that little light lights up. And then when I hit this button, now it'll just brew the water through the ground coffee and that grinder won't come on. Again, we'll look, see up here. Yeah, see. So before the coffee maker, um, you do get, you got to clean this anyway. And there is a couple stuck. Uh, there is a coffee bean that's kind of stuck up there. But I didn't get this lid completely dry. But you can still use it because you're going to have to clean this every time anyway. But it is kind of neat how it grinds it and then forces it down that chute. I was a little skeptical of how it was going to do that, but it, it does it flawlessly. I mean, it works. So I'm going to show you how to set the time now. Unfortunately, when these coffee makers lose power for more than um, 30, 40 seconds, you do lose your time and you lose your, your auto program. So to set the time, you've got to hold this hour button. And it's going to start flashing. Now I can change the hour. Now it's only got a PM light. So if you want AM, like right now it's 8. Well, it's 10. Then do the minutes, 10. 50 a.m. Now let it just sit here and then it'll memorize it. Okay, it's memorized. Okay, so now let's say you want this to come on at 5 o'clock in the morning. That We're going to use this program button over here. We got to hold the program button down. Now the display changes. We got to wait for it to start flashing. Okay, once it starts flashing, I can let up, but now I change the hour. This is the time it's going to start in the morning. Again, there's no a.m. indicator. Only p.m. So let's do five. Give yourself about 20 minutes. Let's do 5.15. I want my coffee ready at 5.30. Now it's going to memorize. It's going to stop flashing. It stopped flashing. But I got to do one more thing. I got I to gotta hit this button again. I need to see that green light on when I go to bed. So make sure you got your coffee beans in. Like I said, this thing's going to grind the coffee. And then brew it. Make sure you got your water in, your coffee beans in, and it's going to automatically get you a cup of co a pot of coffee in the morning. But I got to remember to make sure and hit this button one more time. To I got to go to bed with that green light on. I don't want to turn. I don't want to hit this button or anything. Now let's say I want to cancel it. Just hit the button again. It cancels it. But say I want to check the time. So, oh yeah, that's the time I want. So, I hit the button. I, I kind of held it in to, to verify the time that I wanted it to come on, and then at the same time it it, it left it on. So this is my first review of a um, coffee maker that grinds it and then brews it. I was very skeptical of, of a coffee maker like this, um, but it actually did a really good job. Other than that, it didn't soak the coffee grounds quite as much as I thought it should, but overall, um, very impressive um, how it can do this. And there's a little bit more cleanup, but yeah, that's nothing too major. I thought it made a very good cup of coffee. It uses disposable filters, reusable filters. Um, just a real, this one's been around a while. So you can pick one of these up used. I, I wouldn't be afraid to buy one used. I got this off Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks and it's it looks like a really good coffee maker. Check out my next video. I'm gonna show you how to descale. So this doesn't have a clean light or anything, but you wanna keep up on descaling it. If your coffee's not tasting as good or if it's not as hot, or if your coffee maker's just taking too long to brew, um, you're definitely going to want to descale it with white vinegar. So thanks everybody for your support. Again, I hope this video helps. Leave your comments down below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thanks everybody for, for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.